Today we're looking at the tech in the 2019 Volkswagen Jetta SEL Premium. And like the rest of the car, this technology is greatly improved. Let's dive right in. Now since we're in the SEL Premium, we have what's called Volkswagen's Discover Media System. It's an 8-inch version of its in-dash technology that rolls in a large capacitive touchscreen and navigation. Now like most of Volkswagen's design, what we have here is simple, well-designed, but a little bit boring. It's crisp with this black on white, but it's not really very eye-catching right now. What I've noticed is that this does feel a little bit more responsive than some of the other Volkswagen systems that I've tested. Maybe there's some placebo happening there because things look so crisp, but it feels like I click around a lot faster. Now while we're in here, let me show you some interesting things like the media sources we have access to. We've got a CD player in the glove compartment if you still use those. We've got two SD card slots, one of which is used for navigation data, a USB port, and Bluetooth audio. On the radio side, we've got satellite radio and terrestrial radio, and this is one of the areas where you can see the really bright colors that this screen can reproduce with these icons for your radio stations. You also have the ability to do hands-free calling from this system, and if you have a phone that does text messaging, that's all of them, it can actually read your messages aloud as they come in so you can keep your hands on the wheel. Popping over into the navigation system, we see the maps, they're pretty good looking. They're a bit low resolution compared to the rest of the system, but they definitely get the job done. Now one of the cool things about the navigation system is that you can push that button and pop the maps over into our digital cockpit instrument cluster. That's an option at lower levels, but standard here on the SEL Premium. Now this is basically like a slightly dumbed down version of Audi's virtual cockpit. It allows you to do things like display a full screen map with navigation. You can view your audio source here, your hands-free calling stuff's happening here as well, as well as a variety of vehicle information. And you also have a couple of different views to choose from. The main screen is this full screen interface that just shows one thing. Right now we're showing a map, but if you tap the view button, you can bring in some secondary information on the side and tap again to bring in these digital representations of analog gauges. Now, one of the things about this system is that you can only show the maps here or in the Discover Media system. You can't show them in both. Audi system allows you to do both because it's got more horsepower, but this is a little simpler. Now another interesting thing if we pop back over into the Discover Media system is that Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, and Mirror Link are all standard on all Jetta models, even if you don't get this big Discover Media system. And that means you can bring your Google Maps, your Apple Maps, and all of your apps for audio streaming along with you. Now one of the things that you can't do is if you're navigating with Google Maps or Apple Maps here, it will disable the map in the digital cockpit. It still does not allow that level of redundancy even though it doesn't have to work any harder. It's a little weird, but I can understand why they do it. Could this system use a little more bling or is less is more? Do you like it the way it is? Let us know in the comments down below. And while you're there, hit that subscribe button for even more cool videos from theroadshow.com.